Hello, I bring you greetings from the conference office of the Illinois South Conference of the United Church of Christ, where we are gearing up for this year's annual meeting, Saturday, October 26, 2019. This year, in lieu of our annual meeting pre-meetings, we decided to save you drive time and so that you might review materials at your own leisure that we would create this video for you. Of all things, annual meeting. So first of all, I think it's important for us to consider the purpose of our gathering together. It is a powerful reminder of our covenant life together as a conference. A conference is comprised of local churches that are faithfully doing the work of Christ in their context, in their communities, their neighborhoods, and in the world. And when we come together, we are reminded that the relationship with each other is our covenant, which binds us together in the shared work of Christ. It gives you an opportunity to hear what has been happening in our conference since our last annual meeting. It also allows us a space and time to connect with other churches and our ministry partners in the United Church of Christ and in the Illinois South Conference. It is a way in which we decide together on the shared mission, ministry, and work of our conference. And when we gather together, we can experience the joy and inspiration of what it means to be the church. This year, our annual meeting theme is This Is My Story, What Makes Your Church's Heart Sing. And you will hear stories of transformation, of joy, of hearing what makes local churches' hearts sing. In creating annual meeting this year, the gatherings team, which is responsible for creating annual meeting and day of discipleship, designed this meeting with you in mind. We listen to you in reflecting on conversations that you have had with conference staff persons, with myself, with team members, and also the surveys of feedback of previous annual meetings. So here's what we heard from you. A desire for the meeting to be less formal. Perhaps this is a hope that it would feel more like a meeting at your church or a family reunion. Less talking heads. And I imagine that comes from the reality of that when we are in a large space, and we have to have a stage and a platform, which when we at our, at our Lady of the Snows, we will also have a platform. But when there's one podium and one mic, and it seems like the business of the meeting as just one person after another coming to the mic and giving a report, well, that can get weary because we all need a brain break every once in a while. You also said you would like time to connect with one another, to greet old friends and perhaps to meet new friends. More time to be able to take advantage of the marketplace. And so in this year's agenda for annual meeting, you will see we will have more breaks and times for you to take advantage of the marketplace. And finally, opportunities to hear about the good things that are happening in our churches. This year's annual meeting will continue to build on the work of Todd Bolsinger. Last year, Todd Bolsinger was our keynote speaker as he is the author of Canoeing the Mountains. And he challenged us as local churches, as pastors, as conference leaders to think about the terrain that we are doing ministry in. And sometimes it feels like we are really traveling unchartered territory. It is a new world that we are living in. It is not that the good news changes. The good news is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But we might need new vehicles and new ways of sharing the good news. And so at annual meeting, you will hear three stories, three stories of local churches. One church, We'll talk about what happens when a church takes seriously how all are equipped to do ministry and creates programs that are entirely lay-led instead of pastor-centric. 
You will also hear a church talk about what happens when a church decides to focus solely on the mission of Jesus Christ and growing spiritually instead of worrying and focusing solely on numbers and dollars. And finally, another church will share their story with us of what happens when a church that thinking they are perhaps at the end of the life cycle of the church asks questions of what if. What if we imagine a new future for ourselves? So as you hear these stories, we are hoping that you will also connect them to your story, the story of your local church. So you will be invited into table conversations in order that you can reflect upon what you heard and how this might inspire your leadership to think differently about your own church. We hope that this will enable you to make connections and insights about your church's story that you might take back home. And we believe that this will give you the gift of a new perspective of what your church can do and how God will use you in new and fresh ways. At this annual meeting, we will also be doing a lot of singing as we sing our faith. We will gather together in song and story and spirit. We will be celebrating with song and sacrament. And we will live out being one voice, one heart, and one church. We will worship together. We will eat together. We will learn from each other. And most importantly, we will be the church together. From what I want to talk to you about the vital role of our delegates. Our delegates are chosen by the local churches to be the voice and the vote on all matters that come before the gathered body. We also know that you are the connective tissue between what you experience, what you hear and learn to those at your local church who did not have the opportunity to attend annual meeting. So we always encourage you to be fully present to take notes if you want, and even after annual meeting, if there are things that you would like to follow up with us about so that you can share that information with your local church, please do that because this is a resource for you. Now, as we gather, there's also the business side of annual meeting. So just as in your local churches, you have an annual meeting of all of your active members of your church to decide on important matters. The same is true of the conference. So during the months in which we don't have an annual meeting, a whole gathering of the conference, our governing board of the Illinois South Conference, your conference council does the work and the mission and the ministry on behalf of you and to do the work to which they have been called. But as we come together in the business side of annual meeting, we will vote on how we will use our resources. So you will decide on our budget, our mission plan for 2020. This year, we will also say goodbye to one and hello to another. And we will affirm our international and ecumenical partnerships with our Ecuador partnership. The 2020 Mission Funding Plan, or as we call it, RISC budget. First of all, as you look at the documentation, as you look at that budget, you will notice that we are a unified budget, meaning that there are the things that it takes to run the conference office, the staffing, the resources that go into the work of the conference. But you will also see the budget of Du Bois Center. Du Bois Center is not independently owned and operated. It is ours as a conference. It is our mission and ministry. And so you will see what it takes to run the programs, the retreats, and the outreach of our camp. This year, there are two important items that we really ask you to take note of as you're looking at the mission funding plan. 
And the first is our outsourcing of our accounting and payroll services. Also, and I will talk about this later, the general budget does not include a new two-year staff position that will be funded by grants. So, first of all, outsourcing of our accounting and payroll. At the end of October, Shirley Bergman will be officially retiring. And so beginning November 1st, 2019, KEB Services will take over our accounting and payroll systems. Now, KEB is not an unknown commodity for us in the conference. For years, they have done our audits and we have worked hand in hand with them. They know our complex system. Now, our conference budget is not necessarily a large budget, but it is complicated in that we have many designated places that we put our funding and we need reports and to keep track of that. Also, as tax codes change, as accounting principles change, we realize that we might not have the resources we need to continue to diligently do the work that we are called to do on behalf of the conference in terms of our finances to be fiscally responsible. And so I want to just show you a breakdown of as we compared this. When we first had conversations about outsourcing, we wondered if this would be even possible, if it would be doable given the financial resources that we have. I will also just remind you that because we use KEB for our auditing services, of course, we would have to get another firm to do our auditing resources because it would be a conflict of interest. So you will see that breakdown. So as we looked at the actual costs, and I would invite you to look at the slide, we were surprised to learn that actually the cost is not that much different. And we were excited about that. Although this does mean a goodbye for us, a goodbye that will be very difficult. At this conference meeting, we will be saying goodbye to Shirley Bergman being in the conference office. Now, that means that she will no longer be on staff in the conference, but certainly she will be around to offer her guidance, her support, and her wisdom. We will be expressing our deep gratitude for the ways that she has given wholeheartedly to the mission and the ministry of this conference. And we would not honestly be able to outsource our financial services if it were not for the work that she put into creating policies and procedures and giving us a foundation to continue. And so we are very grateful for her work. This will also mean at annual meeting, we say a hello to a new person. In 2020, we will be saying hello to a new staff member in the conference. Nicole Shaw will be working with the Illinois South Conference for a two year period on communications and messaging. And you'll have the opportunity to meet Nikki in person at our annual meeting. Now this is a grant funded position. So I want to give you a little bit of a background of how this came about because it's in collaboration with two other conferences. In conversations with other conference ministers about the trend to merge conferences and share resources, I was in conversation with Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio, their conference ministers, Reverend uh, Chad Abbott, Indiana, Kentucky, and Reverend David Long Higgins from Ohio. And we talked about what it might look like for conferences to come together and share resources. And we began to dream about sharing a staff person. As we began to think about this, we actually created a grant proposal for sharing a communications director. And that was funded out of a grant from the Essential Conference Ministry Fund of the United Church of Christ, and also monies from the Strengthen the Church Fund. And this is how Nikki is able to join us. So Nikki will be doing different aspects of communication 
for each conference. For Illinois South Conference, she will be helping our conference and our local churches expand their social media presence. But her work will not duplicate the work that Lynette will continue to do, and we hope will only serve to enhance it. So as you look over the budget, those are some things that we would like for you to take notice of. The outsourcing, of our finance services and that our general budget does not include that new two-year staff grant funded position. These are the biggest changes that you will see to our budget from last year. So please delegates look over the budget before you arrive and if you have any concerns or questions reach out to Shirley Bergman, myself, or a member of the finance team ministry. Also a reminder that as those materials delegates have been sent out to you and to your local churches, if you misplace something or don't know where something is, please check on our website. The front page will have links that you can click to look at the different materials that we will be going over at annual meeting. We will also be affirming our continued support of our Ecuador partnership. In July of 2020, a delegation from the Illinois South Conference, including your conference minister, in fact, at our last meeting of conference council, the conference council voted unanimously to send the conference minister to be this proper official signator on our covenants and that our our commitment would be visible to our ministry partners by the presence of the conference minister. So we will be traveling as a delegation to Ecuador to renew our covenants with our ecumenical partnerships there. So this means that through them, we can continue to provide and support housing, medical services, health services, and uh, mental health services, social services, and even educational scholarships for our Ecuador siblings in Christ. And so it is an exciting time, and we are excited to affirm our continued support of our Ecuador partnership. We will also be taking up our offerings at annual meeting. We will continue the tradition of our noisy offering and our noisy offering this year will go to the work of the United Church of Christ Disaster Ministries. And personally, I can't think of a better way and sometimes at this local moment to think about how we might support disaster ministries. Disaster ministries are sometimes the first responders when there is something that devastates a community. And so they come in after hurricanes and floods and tornadoes to help people rebuild their lives. They are the hands and feet of Christ. They are our hands and feet in Christ when they go in and respond. And our afternoon worship offering will go to the ministry of Unipress Kinder Cottage to continue to support their work and the work that they do with children and families of East St. Louis. We do ask with this morning and offering and with our worship offering in the afternoon that if it's possible to bring a check from your church. Lunchtime. So we did get quite a bit of feedback on surveys about lunchtime. In meetings prior, we had programming during our meal times. Sometimes we simply did it because our agenda is pretty packed and we thought we will have a program during our banquet. But the response was, you know, sometimes we just want to be able to, to eat and to enjoy conversation and to be in connection with other people at our table. As I thought about this, I thought, this is really your request for a time of table sharing. Jesus knew the power of table sharing, of sharing in a meal. Sharing a meal is not just sharing and eating the food, 
but it is sharing in the presence of one another. And for many of us, that can be transformative. And so this year, we will enter into a time of table sharing at our lunchtime meal. To accommodate this, what we did was we took the program that we traditionally did at a meal time at our annual meeting, and annual um, meeting will still have that component, but at a different time. So our pre-meeting celebration will be on Friday, October 25th from 6.30 to 8.30 at Trinity UCC in Belleville. So the programming will be the celebrating of church anniversaries, of pastoral anniversaries, of ordination and licensure, and things that make your church's heart sing. And so if you're a church that is celebrating an anniversary or a pastor who is celebrating an anniversary, we hope that you will join us. We will share in that rejoicing and you will receive a certificate on behalf of the Illinois South Conference. And we will also have an opportunity to take your picture and to have that as a memento of that evening. We also invite you to come. If there are stories that you want to share about things that are exciting in your church, something that you have a passion for, we will have time in that evening to be able to share that. We do ask that you RSVP. So on your registration forms, please note so that we can just get an account so we know how to plan for refreshments for that evening. And we hope that as many of you as possible can join us for that pre-meeting celebration on the Friday before our annual meeting. Also, please keep in mind that if you have not registered yet, please do so. If you are registering yourself or guests or delegates from your church, and you don't have those forms, please check on the front page of our website and you will see those forms. Also, please remember that early registration ends on October 1st. So early registration means that you get a discounted rate for your registration fee. Also, some of you are traveling quite a distance to come to Belleville and you might want to stay overnight and so that you don't have to do that drive so early in the morning. If you would like to make a hotel reservation, please know that a block of rooms has been reserved at Our Lady of the Snows and that um, price is under $78. Now, probably will be more with taxes, but it is a reasonable rate. When you make your reservation, make sure that you mention that you are with Illinois South Conference when you make those reservations so you can get that discounted rate. But also keep in mind that the deadline for the block of rooms is September 28, 2019. And so what that means is if you make a reservation after the 28th of September, we can't assure that they will have a room for you and you will not get that discounted rate. So below, I have also provided the number for registration to call and the website for Our Lady of the Snows. If you need help with that, also you can always call the conference office. Finally, we look forward to seeing you at this year's annual meeting. As we come together in story, in song, in celebration, as a reminder of the work that we are called to do on behalf of Christ, to share the good news of God's love, God's grace, and God's abundance in our world. We look forward to seeing you, and we hope that this will be an amazing celebration together. <music>